Hello, the game has started. It's my opponent to go first. I've got a fantastic rack. I've got the blank. Do I have a bingo? Always possible when you've got a blank on your rack, but duplicate B? Not particularly helpful. So I have the ubble ending with B-E-N, so I would have bendable through a D. I'm mainly looking for sevens here. Nothing has come to mind so far. Opponent changes. That's a shame. Now, oh, I thought I had B line. So I can only look for a seven with this rack. I don't think Nebel is good. KN. Bell. New. Bone as a component part. Not seeing anything. I think it's unlikely that there is a bingo here. Well, if there is, I haven't seen it. But I can sort the rack out easily with bleb for 16. Now, surely I am bingoing now. But am I? I have engorge, which certainly plays because BE is good. And I have engorged in column eight, getting tripled. Bleb takes an S. I think it means blister. But is opponent going to scupper all of my bingo plans? Do I have anything through a B? B double G doesn't look promising. So certainly it's Engorge and it's Hooks, which are the bingos I'm spotting at the moment. I would have Geno Gram through an A or an M. Will this triple, triple word square lane stay available? And do I have one coming down from the top in case the bottom one is blocked? So I'm looking for eights mainly. That's engorge. That's the ING ending. Oh, fantastic. So row E is a double double lane, which is better than a triple lane. Does anything go in front of sis? No, it doesn't. Now, a play in column eight from the top would be better than one from the bottom, but I think it's fairly marginal. So, engorged for 80. Wow, pretty grim. However, I don't think this is a changing rack. I've got chi on my rack, caddy and cade through an A. I've got vex and vexed. So I should have something which scores half decently. What I'm not going to be able to do is play off Q, V and X. And I'm also not going to be able to play off Q and V. So I think the priority is probably playing V and X first. Wow. Yes, a bingo for opponent. Nice, nice spot. Steer 8 takes an S. I don't, I don't have one. So any... Any spots at all for Vex and Vexed? I'm not sure there is. There is Vexed onto the T. And is there anything for the Q before I dismiss that? No, no U's have been played. No A's for Caddy and Cade. I have G and SI for 24. That the, I find the V quite troubling. This is 28, which is more points. It doesn't, well, it provides this triple letter square, so if opponent's got something like an F or an H, they could score well. But if I draw a U, I've got a pretty decent rack. If I draw an A, I've got Cat. And I've still got the QI spot, so this feels like a better play than, than QI. QI would leave vexed, but nowhere. Well, well, let me put this back. 
I think this is better for a couple of reasons. It turns over one more tile, increasing the chances of drawing a U. It leaves, well, it leaves me the QISI spot, but that wasn't affected by Vexed. But also I'm hampering column 12. If opponent's drawn an S and has got a back-to-back -back bingo, Vexed may prevent him from playing it. Or even a non-bingo with a big tile doubled. I am going with this. And I don't draw a U. I do still have the I. And I have a lead. I have FET in column 10. I don't think that's best, but it's a decent score. 36 points. Well, is that worth doing? I don't think double R goes well with Q. But every every move has its price in terms of score and rack leave. And Chi is only 24 points. Now I have an N for Chin. Does that provide any further options? I don't think it does. Vexed is also quite a nice play. I lead and... It sort of shuts the board down, forcing opponent to choke the board up even more. It's not massively choked at the moment. But C and V are, are limiting where opponent might play. Oh, wow, fantastic bingo by opponent. 60, 65 points, takes the lead. Now there is a queue, so great, I have Feek, let me see what this scores, 34 points, N double R not fantastic, but to be able to dump Q and F in the same play is pretty good, F I Q H is good, but both H is still to come. Are there any other Q plays? Well, QIN, but I would need to score a lot more than this to justify retaining the F. The F is not a good tile, especially not when it's adding to the number of consonants. Now, through an A, I would have Fakir, which would also sort the R's out by playing one of them. Neither A on the board works. So I think Feek is the play for 34. And I was really hoping for one or more vowels, having retained three consonants, but I draw four consonants, of course. So what to do? I lead by 11, but opponents on turn. I have Riz, only 24 points. Ah, ZE. What a shame I don't have. Well, I don't think there are any three letter plays which work, but Zati would have worked. Oh my word, three back to back bingos from opponents. Absolutely amazing. So, what am I going to do with my seven wretched consonants? Is Zell better than changing? 32 points, it probably is. Is there any way of playing off more consonants? Let me put this back. Through an E, I would have nerds. Oh, wow. This is definitely an example of when it pays to have a second look. This is so much better than Zell. I'm turning over two more consonants. Now, any other E spots? Well, not better than this. Yeah, I am going with this. Wow, what a pick. I draw a blank and three vowels. Gosh. Thank you, Tile Fairy. But do I have a playable bingo? I would have Razorial through an A or an S. Two good floaters at the bottom of the board with the E and the D. Great opponent doesn't bingo. 14 minutes on my clock. 
So I don't think Razorial with a Z is good. Let me just check that. It's not, so it's just with an S. There's no floating S or A. So, uh, Railroad. I have Railroad. Oh, my word. Surely that is the play. Railroad. Yep, the blank isn't getting doubled. This maximises the score. Does place a vowel underneath this triple letter square with a J still to come. Do I look for a better play? I think possibly I do. Certainly looking for a better play after Zal paid off. So this rack, I think I need only consider row O. Possibly Z. So that is Railroad. This rack plus a D. 13 minutes on my clock. Not seen anything else. And of course, I'm, I may draw the, the uh, J myself. Nope, so railroad it is for 71. And I draw the J, fantastic. However, I don't draw the E that I need to get it to score twice. But I am denying opponent playing the J in that spot. And look at this, I lead by 21 despite opponent's three back-to-back -back bingos. And surely I can score something half decent with this. My J can also go above the A, so at the very least I've got Joe and Oi for 38 points. What about column 8 at the top? I've got Jimp. Wow. That would be a big score. And pretty handy playing off two of the high scoring tiles. Always desirable to play off two, two or more in the sense of... It's best to leave one or zero on your rack. So, supposing opponent plays in column eight, do I really want to play J.O.? I'm inviting trouble next turn. Now, opponent's played at the bottom, leaving Jimp alone, and this is really good. Opponent's play has blocked the bottom of the board. The S wasn't available as a bingo floater, but Far has taken out the R, which was pretty useful, and the A, which was less so. And Jimp is scoring well and stopping opponent from scoring in this spot. And the J is not a bingo friendly tile. I am going with this. So I lead by 50 points. There are 23 tiles to come. Both blanks have been played. And I have Zooty on my rack, which isn't going to give a lot away. And is going to score over 30 points. And certainly if I can keep putting in 30 point scores, it's going to be hard for opponent to catch me, even with a bingo. Left hand side of the board looking really tight. Nothing goes in front of the queue. So column four, not, not very useful. Column four lower down isn't going to score very much. Row K isn't going to score very much. Gosh, this steer eight with an S spot remains available. I hope I haven't missed anything major. Still one S to come in the unseen pool, but I have an S on my rack. Not seeing anything anything great. But Zooty retains the S, so that may be my option for a 30 point play next turn. Zooty would surely invite a column 15 play. 12 minutes on my clock and on opponents. I have Jotty, which would sort the rack out. And score over 20 points, not a huge score. Now, row J, an interesting lane because it's available for an ING bingo. And, well, I was going to say all the Gs have gone, but of course the G in question is 
in position. Three eyes, two ends to come. Now, oh, wow, so cruel. A pennant takes my zooty spot. I had nothing else in mind. And because the C only takes an H, and I don't have one, I, I can't play in column 15. There are two H's in the unseen pool, so a pennant might have an easy 50 point, sorry, an easy 30 points next turn. Now, back to the racking question, is Jotty the play? I think it is. It doesn't score massively, but it definitely sorts the rack out. Three O's to come. So I certainly want to make inroads. It's turning over a lot of tiles, which expedites the end of the game. Wow, I only lead by 10 points. Nerds doesn't take anything. OST is quite a nice rack leave if opponent does play in row J. Then he'll be providing three floaters for me to bingo through. I'm retaining the S for steer eight, and if I draw an I and an N, I'm jolly close to a bingo myself in row J, and Jotty provides absolutely nothing for opponent. I am going with this. Well, I draw an I, which starts my journey to an ING bingo. I also draw the final, the final S, so the steer eight spot is mine. So, what do I have in column 12? I have Sim. 31 points. It would be nice to get the D or M doubled. I don't think I can do that. What about a play down from the R? R, I, S, not good. And I don't have any R, I, S, O plays. So nothing great, still two H's for column 15 for opponent. And my lead just 30 points. So what am I going to do? Far, far takes nothing in front. Well, I could play Moit in row K to take out the ING danger. Although only one I, only one N to come. So not a massive danger, and I will be able to score off it. I'm not aware of any three-letter extensions for Jotty. Wow, very limited board for scoring opportunities. Nothing goes between OK and D. I've got Som as well as Sim, burning the O. There are three O's to come, one I. The I is a more useful tile. Great, only 18 for opponent. 12 tiles in the bag, including two U's and two W's, so I'm not in a hurry to empty the bag. Som, 31 points, pretty good, and a pretty good rack leave. Let me check the remaining vowels. 12 out of 19, a lot of vowels. Well, that's fine. I could handle even drawing three vowels with this rack leave. So, is this the play? 31 points. Yeah, I think it is. It gives absolutely nothing away. I'm going with this. And I draw an H for column 15. Fantastic. So I could play H-A-W if opponent doesn't get, the, get in there first. I would have dishwater onto ER. Nothing with a G. I think I really do need the N for that. Fantastic. Where's opponent gone? EA at E8. Yeah, Jimper. Nice spot. 21 points. Oh, well, this is, this is pretty good for me. Because I can play whore. 39 points, that's a big score. I'm retaining the I. Well, just generally this rack leave is good. Can I turn over more tiles in column 15? No, I can't. I would need vowels which go next to N and Y, and the I doesn't go next to either. So, I think this is the play. This will leave two U's and a W to come. Playing off three tiles will leave four in the bag. Look at this, I only lead by 22, but
but that's before taking account of this 39. Opponent could have wheeling in row J, that would be brutal. But it wouldn't necessarily win him the game. Or for 39. And I draw the N. But I don't think I have an ING bingo. No, I don't. Are there any other lanes? Row I. Great, just 10 points for opponent. So, nine minutes on my clock with two tiles in the bag. What to do? Am I sure there isn't an ING play? Or a non-ING bingo, but ending in G? I don't think there is. Have I really considered all other lanes? Now, I was thinking about row I ending I-O-N. Nope, not seeing anything there. Flamingo takes an S, I think. Maybe not. But I don't think I can really score off that. Two tiles left. Do I play off just one tile? An opponent doesn't have a bingo because the G is the only floater. Possibly the N. I don't think opponent has a bingo through either. How does that change things? Well, it would be nice to bingo myself, but would I suppose, just supposing I played the U off somewhere, can I do that? Yes, I could play pull. So keeping D-I-N-O-S-T, do any of the remaining tiles give me an I-N-G bingo? E. No, H. No, I. No, L. I think really the S is competing with ING as the ending for a word. O. R. U. Already got that. And W. No, I don't think I have a bingo, so it's pointless looking to to get something which isn't available, in which case the argument for playing off one tile is that opponent can't plan an out because he has to draw an unknown tile, six minutes on my clock, whereas I will be able to plan an out in two. Not convinced by that. Now my lead, only 50 points. So I mustn't be complacent here. Whoops, I don't want to do that. I wanted to check flamingos. Valid. So what about doing this? 34 points and then I have, well, I don't have doting, I'm drawing two tiles. Interesting, I considered playing off just one tile and whether I would have a bingo. I didn't consider playing off two. This is 34 points. Four, 46. Yeah. I'll lead by 80. Opponent can't bingo and I might be able to. So I think this is the play. Well, here we go. Does a, if opponent has a bingo out, he wins. But I don't think he does. Do I have a bingo ending ING? I don't. No surprise, really. So really now I'm looking to, I think, maximise the winning spread. And this is quite a nice rack to face at the end of the game. It's balanced and I've got a scoring tile in the H. Opponent has lost contact or quit. And opponent's back and plays while. Wow, nice, 34 points. 
but I still lead by over 50. So, opponent's got O-U-R. Are they going out with that Rue in row G and route in column 13? So, this is my last move. What am I going to do with it? Well, is this good? Duty for 15 reduces amount of count back. Opponent could play Juro. That doesn't have a big score and loses, but duty may not be good. Let's find out. And it is. So opponent also got hour and do and probably other options around the board. Yeah, hour. And the final score, 413 to opponent, 461 for me, a winning margin of 48 points. So a huge, huge win. Let's see what I missed. Wow, what a game. That felt really tight. So, opponent to go first, changes, and I have Bleb for 16, which looks fine. Opponent's rack, wow, looks close to a bingo, doesn't have one place, sis. And now I have Engorged for 80, and Eggcorn's also available, which is nice, but for a much lower score through the sea. Opponent's rack... Steer 8, nice bingo, and the only one. Now, this was a really interesting position with V, Q, and X. I went with Vexed for 32, but F6, oh, through the B, I would have had Vibe X, which would have scored more. And the D is not a bad tile to keep with the Q because of Caddy. The downside of Vibe X is that it burns the eye. However, it does... Put it in a position that the Q could be put next to it. So I think Vibex overall is the better play. Opponent's rack. Great spot of unpriced, which Vibex would have blocked, of course. Now I have Feek, which was great getting rid of the F and the Q. And look at this. Three back-to-back -back bingos for opponent. Plays Flamingo. J1 could have played Gloaming onto this G. Now, I am not in good shape. I trail by 50 points. I've got seven consonants. But Nerts, I think, is a reasonable play. Opponent's rack, quite a lot of vowels, plays Orc. And here we go. I have Railroad for 71, which scores the most. Also available, Carriol, one row higher. And, re and Retailer, H13, through the T of Nerts. So I think Railroad is best. Opponent's rack plays far and Jim, yep, that was my play. And having trailed with seven consonants, I now have a 50 point lead. But opponent closes that down to just 10 and it's quite a nip and tuck affair here on in. OYS, A13, quite nice, but putting an A next to this double letter square and retaining three Ts. So I played Jotty for 19, which is 23 fewer points. But I still like that, placing an A next to this double letter square. Well, you, you can see that opponent could have played Varde or Evade for about 40 points. And even if he didn't have this rack, there were so many other tiles, H, M and W, which could have got doubled. So I like my play. Opponent's rack, pretty bingo -y, nothing playing. And opponent plays Deev. So I now lead by 12, and there are 12 tiles in the bag. I play Som for 31, B13. Well, a couple of Flamingo plays score more, but... I think SOM is better. It turns over one more tile, and if I draw an N, I do have this ING lane. Now, opponent still Val Heavy plays EA, which was a great spot. Not obvious that an E could be put between Jimp and R. 
I lead by 20 with this rack, and this is where really my fortunes change. I'm, I get whore down if opponent had got that play down instead, then the end of the game could have been a different story. But as it stands, I lead by 50. Opponent's got no bingo, no scoring tiles, only four in the bag. Plays double E. Few. No missed bingo here. What do I do? I play us for 34. Yeah, I maybe played that too quickly in the sense that I... I know that in general the U is the worst vowel. However... I've got quite a lot of information about the remaining tiles and the possibility of a bingo in row J, so it's possible that there could have been a playable bingo if I'd retained the U. And I did have five minutes, so I think in a real tournament I would have spent a longer time considering which of is, Oz and us to play. But it would have only affected the winning margin. I think the game is won at this point. Opponent's rack plays while, which is nice. And my final rack... So, hooding available. Yeah, for 22, I played duty for 15. Hooding would have been better, but only a small number of points involved. And opponent goes out with hour for 16. So, what a game. Absolutely fantastic fun. And it was... It could have gone either either way. That point in the middle where I was trailing by 50 and had seven consonants, that could have just been the beginning of the precipice. There were scoring spots around the board, and if they'd all fallen to opponent, the his margin of victory could just have carried on increasing. But as it is, Nertz helped me get out of that particular rack, and then I had a kind draw with the blank. I was able to bingo, and I was back in front, and it was fairly close towards the end. We were less than a bingo apart, but opponent's rack was swamped with vowels and the board didn't have many bingo lanes. So I was able to run out the victor, but super exciting stuff. Many thanks to opponent for a good battle. I hope you enjoyed watching that game. Like, comment and subscribe and I will see you next time.